Let's get into it. Well, um, we had the opportunity to bring the Frozen writer, director, and Disney Animation Chief Creative Officer, Jen Lee, to our project site, where she got to take a look at all of the beautiful things in the Fantasy Springs project. And honestly, when she came into Frozen, the first scene with little Anna knocking at the door, she literally collapsed in tears at seeing her story brought to life for the very first time. And opening days are with our international parks, especially in Japan, it's very rare to get team members together because we all you know, live in other parts of the world. So it was really, really special to share opening day with so many team members, who some of, of whom came from the United States to, to experience that. That was really wonderful to experience. Um, we did get to walk the land and ride the attractions with our, uh, our leader, Bob Iger. Um, and it was really, really wonderful when he said to us, that the land nearly brought him to tears after walking the land. So that was really a special compliment. Yeah, and of course, you know, when you see the first guest enter the land, that's always a very emotional moment, see those reactions. But I was really glad that we were able to celebrate our achievements also with the uh, WI team, the Walt Disney Imagineering team. A lot of them on World of Frozen were actually in Hong Kong. Uh, so that was a great moment. We also had the executives come over for the grand opening of the land. So that was another highlight. And Jennifer Lee, uh, you know, following a certain pattern, I think, because she also uh, teared up pretty much, uh, you know, for quite a long time uh, during her visit to the land. And for me personally, it was great to have my parents, uh, you know, fly over all the way from Europe to be at the grand opening also of the land. And, uh, you know, it's just really special to have that and have them see what their son was up to for seven years. So. <laughs> After seven years of working on Zootopia, it was just, you know, it's so incredibly humbling having guests in the land. Uh, we really designed it specifically for the Shanghai audience and took everything we love about Zootopia and made it just work for that audience. And uh, it's really, they've sort of taken sense of the sense of ownership over it since we opened. It's just really rewarding to see that. Oh, and of course, uh, vividly remember the very first day we had guests in the lobby. There were actually cast members who were doing audio tests. And what I wasn't expecting was to see them all interact with Clawhauser. Everyone's off with their phones and looking at him and, and waving to him and sort of feeling like he was this real cheetah up there talking to them. And that's really what it's all about. It really was the, was the thing that told us we had done our job well. And it was an incredible treat being with Zootopia writer director Karen Bush walking the land. As someone who dreamed up this world, he could not get over that the place was now real. And as we stepped into the lobby together for the first time, he said, I remember writing, we land at the front desk and find Claw Hoser, a pudgy cheetah cop, happily eating a bowl of Lucky Chomp cereal. And here I am standing in front of him, and the Lucky Chomp's right there. <laughs> and the day finally came when we were able to bring to our guests in Magic Kingdom, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, with an amazing team that all came together with a common vision. And um, Parker Smith, who is, I believe, in the audience here, our, our creative executive for the attraction, she and I had the privilege of hanging out at the um, execute. And of course, uh, going along with those, that theme, there were a lot of tears, but there was also a lot of joy and a sense of celebration. <laughs> and it was also really cool um, to uh, be there when the talent from the film had an opportunity to experience as well. All of them are characters in their own right, and it was just a lot of fun. I just want to say that all of us at Disney Animation are so honored by the love and care that you all put into our stories. And I'm just so grateful and constantly impressed working with you all, bringing your stories to life in the park. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, That's perfect. In making dreams come true, we bring tears and joy, but we also feel joy and cry too. Even Bob Iger was brought to tears. I think it's the highest praise. On that note, sadly, that's all the time we have for today. We covered a lot in an hour plus. I wanted to thank the panel for their fun stories and for sharing them with all of you. Um, bringing our animated stories to life is a labor of love and passion for all of us who are going to make imaginary animation. And we hope you'll enjoy what we created in our parks. But please make sure to check out the Imaginary Pavilion to learn more. And thank you, everyone, to have a great day. Thank you.